Christmas Eve day, the day that we're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus and what we received by that. You know, the angels was out shouting and praising God. It was not a silent night. They were rejoicing. All of heaven was rejoicing because mankind was going to be redeemed back to God. And what they said is peace, goodwill toward men. Now, that's not peace toward one another. That's peace between you and the Father God. God wanted peace between him and his family, and so he sent Jesus in the form of a man to redeem you from the yuck that's in this world so that you could have everything that we have. In fact, in 1 John 1, chapter 1, uh, verse 1, it's one of my favorite verses. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Then verse 12 and 14 says, and the Word became flesh. So Jesus was a manifestation of the will of God for you. He never told anybody, stay sick for my glory. He never told anybody, be broke and give me glory. He came to let you know how you could live by faith. Uh, I had a revelation. Oh, it's been a long, long time ago. Jesus lived in a human body. He could have gotten sick. He could have been broke. He could have been miserable, but he came and lived by faith to show you and I how we can live by faith. So when you're rejoicing over the birth of Jesus today, he's not just still a little baby in a manger. He is king of kings, lord of lords, to which you're one of the kings and you're one of the lords. And he came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. So as, as you're spending time with family, friends, fellowshipping, eating too much food. Remember that Jesus came that you might have too much food, that you might enjoy the things with your family. So I'll say something else about it tomorrow, but all day remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.